Using electronics to simulate taste is quite a fairly new ground, which is why uh, that has always been our motivation to explore and invent digital taste at Q Center. We have conducted user studies and through interviews with doctors, uh, we discovered that digital taste can be used for rehabilitation purposes. Uh, so what's, how does cognitive impairment factor in into taste? Diminished taste is, uh, it occurs with aging and it is also an indication of the onset of Alzheimer's disease. So uh, taste as, as one of the primary sen as one of the primary senses, uh, the loss of taste can greatly affect a person. So with the loss of taste, uh, patients can find food uh, find, sorry, patients find food less appealing and they may not uh, they may long, no longer enjoy their meal as much. So that will lead to a decreased appetite. With the loss of their, without their usual intake of food, of course they will suffer from poor nutrition and they might also suffer from mal malnourishment or dehydration and overall this leads to a drop in quality of life. Uh, moreover, the, there's a, usually their diet consists of a limitation of sodium intake, especially for the case of those with high blood pressure and diabetes. And this means that they can't use salt in their food to enhance the flavor of, of their meal. Here are some, some of the products in the market. They focus on the dining experience. So what Taste Plus is different is that um, it focuses on the tongue as a direct simulation, as the direct channel. So it has a built-in electrical stimulation to enhance the flavor of the food. So with the hope that by improving the diet, it can lead to a better overall quality, improve the quality of life. So what we are looking at now is um, the three primary tastes, the, sorry, three primary tastes, sour, salty, and bitter. How the whole thing works is that it consists mainly of the, the green board is a printed circuit board with Arduino processing, a lithium ion battery, and also pure silver electrodes. So when the pure silver electrodes come in contact with the tongue, the system will generate a very weak and controlled electric pulses and that, that's for stimulating the tongue. So by stimulating the tongue, it hopes to simulate the sensation of sourness and other minor sensations such as uh, bitterness and saltiness. The, how do you control the spoon? So by pressing the button on top, uh, users can alternate between sour and bitterness. For right now, we are looking at sour and saltiness, sorry. Yeah, so green, there's a light indicator, green for sourness and blue for saltiness. So before, okay, I'll just stop here for uh, video testing. This is our user testing. The patient is... <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me go back to my slide. Okay, what are we looking at next? So what we hope to achieve is to go beyond the primary taste and achieve electronic flavors. And what do I mean by electronic flavors? It's like, well, we aim to achieve tastes like chocolate, vanilla, or spearmint. So for, right, okay. So design for manufacturing, right now we are in our prototyping phase. So phase one, we'll probably look forward to like improving the taste of uh, right now, our digital taste, like how to en further enhance the flavor of sour, bitter, and saltiness. And phase two, perhaps we'll look into temperature, like cold and bitterness to, for chocolate ice cream flavor, yeah. And phase three, perhaps we'll look at um, like texture, the bumps on the surface of the spoon so as to better enhance the dining experience. And with that, 
Yeah, I'm coming to that. All these women have been possible. If not, we receive generous help from all these people. So thank you. And here's the end of my presentation. So I really want to try this. Um, so if someone can't eat salt, for example, mm -hmm. and they want it, and they would normally like vegetables with salt, if they eat veg unsalted vegetables with the spoon, mm -hmm. they would taste salty. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Question about ergonomics. Mm -hmm. uh, in the user testing video, somebody else was holding the spoon. How easy is it for an individual to use this just themselves, and particularly somebody who might have some degree of dementia, how, how easily is it controllable, do you think? Um, we are looking forward to uh, improve the grip. So we are looking at like rubber grip for, and the spoon is quite big enough, so it's not like the thin metal one that people are using. So with a better grip, we hope to enhance the, the using experience, yeah. Besides an end user who might be interested in this product, who do you foresee interested in mass acquisition of the product? Oh, this project originally started off as um, as a digital taste water bottle. So we hope to uh, what we wanted to do was to encourage uh, children to drink more water because usually they just find like drinking water, water is bland and they don't really want to taste it. So we did this to allow them to enjoy drinking water. Yeah. Uh, sorry, does it answer the question? Sorry, just to clarify. So an individual user mm -hmm. might be interested in the spoon for their own taste, but yeah. you know, would you consider other buyers, you know, restaurants, hotels, facilities, you know, who might be interested in this product en masse, like large quantities of your spoons? Who might be for that? Mm. <laughs> So do you envision it for just the end user, families purchasing the spoon for, you know, a loved one? Uh, but may perhaps are like elderly healthcare center and aging home also. Yeah. Okay. So I would want to kind of piggyback off the okay. question over here of mm -hmm. the user. So do they have to remember, you know, is a button up for salty and down for sour? Do uh, you, yes. You counted for somebody with cognitive impairment trying to help them understand the, to remember that? We are, uh, right now we also, to keep it simple, actually we, we are thinking of splitting it into two spoons instead. So one purely for sourness and so each individual flavor, you just use that spoon and maybe that will be color coded for easy recognition. Yeah. Um, do you have a sense of how much this device will cost? We are looking at um, below USD $40. Yeah, but it should be cheaper be when it goes into mass production, the electronics and all the parts, it, the cost would definitely be down. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a question over here. What is the status of the intellectual property? Sorry? To have you filed for a patent, or is it patentable, or is there, is, are, uh, do you have freedom to operate? What is the status of the intellectual property? The patent is right now, I think, our team is uh, filing for the patent now. Uh, for for the status, the current is the current is in a micro ampere zone, so it's very safe for for eating. And what we are doing is just to alternate changing the varying the magnitude of the current as well as the frequency to come up with the different taste. Yeah. Great. Okay, I think we need to get started with our next team from Eatwell. Thank, Thank you. you so much.